So in preparation for playing the new Robocop video game, Robocop Rogue City, I've decided to go back and watch the first two films. So here's what I think of the original. Robocop is a 1987 sci-fi action movie directed by Paul Verhoeven. It follows Alex Murphy, a cop who has recently been transferred to the city of Detroit to help combat the recent epidemic of violence on the streets. However, when Murphy is killed in the line of duty, the nefarious OCP Corporation uses his remains to create the future of law enforcement to combat the crime. Robocop. One of the most iconic pop culture icons from the 1980s, Robocop is rightly praised to this day for its biting satirical commentary on corporate America, consumerism and the media. From the heartless greed shown by the suits of OCP to the brazen callousness of the criminals, the film has a lot of important things to say about morality and justice, which are scarily even more relevant today than when it was first released. The best thing about Robocop though, is that on top of the purposefully on the no social commentary, the film is just so much damn fun. The film is full of memorable characters. Peter Weller is superbly cast as Murphy slash Robocop, and delivers multiple iconic lines of dialogue with ease, such as That are alive, you are coming with me. Personally, I think the absolute standout is Kurtwood Smith, whose psychopathic gang leader Clarence Bodica steals every single scene he's in. I find his character to be equal parts loathsome and hilarious. Bitches leave. In fact, Robocop is a surprisingly funny film, if you have a dark sense of humour. I couldn't help but laugh my ass off at Robocop's first encounter with the criminal robbing a local store. The sheer befuddlement of the robber as he unsuccessfully shoots the cyborg hero is as funny as Robocop clotheslining him face first into a fridge. Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. In fact, I can't really think of a film that portrays violence in quite the same way that Robocop does. It shows absolute ultra-violence in both a comical and serious light. For example, the murder of Alex Murphy at the hands of Clarence Bodiger and his gang is truly horrific, yet the accidental death, no, annihilation, of poor Mr Kinney at the hands of the malfunctioning ED-209 unit is both shocking and hilarious in its sheer excess. Somebody want to call a goddamn paramedic? Nah, he's dead, mate. You're better off fetching him up. And a bucket. And some bleach. I, like many of you, probably watched Robocop when I was far too young. I mean, I was already obsessed with films like The Terminator and Aliens, so I was well into adult sci-fi films, but I don't think I was quite ready for Robocop. I was too young to understand the satire and the violence, especially Emile's death by toxic waste. God, that disturbed me a lot. Oof. In fact, that scene is still truly horrific in my opinion. It's a combination of both his melting appearance and his god-awful wail. It's just so horrible. Brilliant, but horrible. In fact, it boggles my mind that Robocop, along with many other 18 plus sci-fi films of the 80s, were generally marketed towards kids in the 90s. I mean, many of them had their own lines of action figures. I was the proud owner of every single Kenner Aliens figure, and then I sold them a few years back. I've uh, never been the same since. Hmm. Robocop even had his own animated series, for goodness sake. Imagine being a kid and your introduction to Robocop is this. And then watching the film and seeing this. Ah, how I miss the 90s. Everything made sense back then. In a sort of weird way. So yeah, the original Robocop is an absolute classic. It's still as shocking and entertaining today as it was in 1987. If you haven't seen it yet, and my review hasn't put you off it, then I highly, HIGHLY recommend that you give it a watch. Just don't come crying to me if you end up scarred for life. <laughs> so, the original Robocop. Do you love it? Do you loathe it? Let me know in the comments below, and if you could please like and subscribe to my channel, I would very much appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>